Hey everybody and welcome back to Grandma's Corner. We are going to be reading the popcorn book by Tome de Paola. And this is about the history of popcorn. So here we go. And now a word from our sponsor. They're watching TV and a, an ad is coming on. Mom, can we make some popcorn? Yes, the popcorn's in the refrigerator. Yummy. I wonder why Mom keeps the popcorn in the refrigerator. I don't know. I will look it up. Here it is. Popcorn is best stored in a tight jar in the refrigerator so the kernels keep their moisture. Boy, this is interesting. Listen. Popcorn is the oldest of the three main types of corn. There is field corn, which is fed to the animals like cattle and pigs, sweet corn, which is kind we eat, and popcorn. Popcorn was discovered by the Indian people in the Americas many thousands of years ago. One of the first sites Columbus saw in the New World was the Indians in San Salvador selling popcorn and wearing it as jewelry. First, I heat up the pan. So he's reading the information about the history of popcorn and this one's talking to himself about making popcorn. But popcorn is even older than that. In a bat cave in New Mexico, archaeologists found some popcorn that was 5,000 years old. And 1,000 year old popcorn kernels were found in Peru that could still be popped. Now, the cooking oil. The Indian people of the Americas had many different ways to pop popcorn. One way was to put an ear of corn on a stick and hold it over a fire. But many kernels were lost in the fire with this method. Another way was to throw the kernels right into the fire by the handful. The popcorn popped all out all over the place, so there was a lot of bending and running around to gather it up. Oh, now it's hot enough to add a few kernels. In 1612, French explorers saw some Iroquois people popping corn in clay pots. They would fill the pots with hot sand, throw in some popcorn, and stir it with a stick. When the corn popped, it came to the top of the sand and was easy to get out. Yeah, it may have been easy, but it was probably full of sand too, so... Ah! The Iroquois people were fond of popcorn soup. Soup? The Appalachians who came to, oh, I'm sorry, the Algonquians who came to the first Thanksgiving dinner even brought some popcorn in a deerskin pouch. The colonists liked it so much that they served popcorn for breakfast with cream poured on it. Well, actually, that sounds good. Today, Americans use 500 million pounds of popcorn each year. 30% is eaten at movies, circuses, ball games, and county fairs. 10% is saved for seed and sold to other countries. But 60% is popped right here at home. Oh goody, the kernels are popping. That means the oil must be ready. People in the Midwest buy more popcorn than any other part of the United States. Milwaukee and Minneapolis are the top popcorn eating cities, followed by Chicago and Seattle. Most of the popcorn is grown in the Midwest too. Now I'll put more kernels in the pan and turn the heat up. Now, Here's the part I read first. 
Popcorn is best stored in a tight jar in the refrigerator so the kernels keep their moisture. If the kernels dry out, there will be too many old maids left at the bottom of the pan. Old maids are unpopped kernels. Those are the ones that never did anything. It doesn't look like enough. If the popcorn does dry out, you can add one or two tablespoons of water to the jar and shake it until the water is absorbed. Popcorn pops because the heart of the kernel is moist and pulpy and surrounded by a hard starch shell. When the kernel is heated, the moisture turns to steam and the heart gets bigger until the shell bursts with a pop. So here you can see here's the kernel and it's getting more and more hot and the moisture builds up and it finally pops. Are you sure you didn't put too much popcorn in the pan? Oh, of course not, silly. The Indian people had a legend that inside each kernel of popcorn lived a little demon. A demon's like a devil. When his house was heated up, he got so mad that he blew up. So that's the legend. It's just a story. A legend usually is not true. There are different kinds of popcorn. White hullus and yellow hullus are the ones most commonly sold in stores. The smallest type is called strawberry because it has red kernels and the ears look like strawberries. Rainbow has red, white, yellow, and blue kernels and it's sometimes called calico. Then there is black popcorn too, but all of it pops white. Interesting. The biggest kernels are called dynamite and snow puff. Shake, shake, shake. After popcorn is popped, most people like to put melted butter and salt on it. Mmm, yum, yum. But if salt is put in the pan before the kernels are popped, it makes the popcorn tough. Oh, I didn't know that. Shake, shake, shake. There are many stories about popcorn. One of the funniest and best known comes from America's Midwest. One summer it was so hot and dry that all the popcorn in the fields began to pop. And in no time at all, the sky was filled with flying popcorn. It looked so much like a blizzard, everyone put on mittens and scarves and got out the snow shovels. I knew you put too much popcorn in the pan. Okay, if you're so smart, what do we do now? I know. Do you know? The best thing about popcorn is eating it. And that is so true. The popcorn book. So thank you, Tome de Paola, for your information about popcorn and corn. That was very interesting. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book. We are all dressed for bed, ready to go and get a few Zs. But I just want to let you know the next book that we're going to read is called Animals Born Alive and Well. So we're going to find some nice animals that you may or may not be familiar with. So you have a good evening. Good night, everybody, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.